Hey, what's going on guys? It's DK. Back at you with another video here to talk about some player props I like for the uh, Tuesday NBA slate. But if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My name is DK. I make daily videos and a live stream for NBA and NFL slates on DraftKings. Also, I'm going to do some prize picks for uh, NBA Top Shot and for NFL All Day. If you guys are into NBA Top Shot, make sure to check out my recent video. Uh, some pretty exciting news with the, the KD pack. Um, I went over some how to make money on flash challenges and open a rare run it back pack. So make sure to check that one out, guys. Um, if you're unable to watch these YouTube videos, I do upload on Apple Podcasts. Link is down below. It is called the DK DFS Show and premium content. I offer that on patreon.com for DFS, uh, Data Fantasy Sports, again, NBA and an NFL package. And the sponsor of this video, guys, is Roast Umber. As I'm drinking my Roast Umber uh, Nitro Brew. Um, if you guys are a if you uh, are a coffee lover, you have to try a Roast Umber. Um, my personal favorite again, the Nitro Brew. They have coffee. They have deep decaf coffee. They have bundles you can try. Um, you can or use my code DKDFS for twenty percent off your order. Um, and again, I feel like if you're if you're a gambler, play like DFS. If you're betting on player props. I feel like you have to be caffeinated. So yeah, guys, try out Roast Umber. And again, use my code uh, DKDFS for 20% off. More info down below. Okay, so let's get in the short video, guys. And let's start with the San Antonio Spurs. So I want to go down here to DeJounte Murray right now at 46 fancy points. So this total here, I should probably bring it up right now. Um, it is very high. I'll give you the exact number right now. Let's go to basketball. <clears throat> Let's go to NBA. Okay, so it's a two uh, twenty three over under, and uh, the Warriors are only two point favorites here on the road. So you know, usually when you have Golden State, um, you know, when you have Golden State in the schedule, there's there's always that chance the game blows out. But Golden State's kind of thin, right? Uh, no Clay Thompson. Uh, we know Draymond is still out. Uh, possibly no Otto Porter Jr. I think he comes back, but we haven't got confirmation on that yet. So um, there's really no blowout risk. Golden State play fast. And again, right now, John Murray is just doing everything for this team. He's stuffing the stash sheet. We've seen him produce even with Derek White coming back. Um, he's actually hit this number the last five games. But um, yeah, what I really like is he doesn't necessarily have to score to get fancy points. And when he does have a decent shooting game, he, he can easily hit this over. So uh, again, fast paced game, no real risk of blowout. Um, I think I like the over here on DeJounte Murray at 46 fancy points. And I like pairing that personally with Jordan Poole at 26 fancy points. So he's the guy that gets the biggest bump with Clay Thompson out, right? Because Poole comes, uh, goes from the bench of like, 24 to 26 minutes to the starting line if I'm playing like 32 to 33 minutes. That's a pretty big minutes bump. Also gets a usage bump, right? Going to have uh, more usage in the offense. He will do some ball handling too when Steph Curry is not out there. And the Spurs, probably one of the uh, worst defenses in the league. Now, I guess the only downside of taking the over in Jordan Poole is he is kind of score independent. Like again, he will do some ball handling, but... Um, if he has a really bad shooting night, there's a chance he hits uh, the under hits. But um, I'm banking on, you know, the increased minutes, the increase, increased usage, and the great matchup here. And hoping he says he doesn't have an awful shooting game to go over 26 as well. So I think that's a nice pairing there with DeJounte Murray and with Jordan Poole. And then I want to go to one where I think a lot of people are going to take this. I think it's going to be a popular play. But here's the thing. Washington, Milwaukee, right? We know there's no Brad Beal. Uh, and it's a 230 over under, 11 point spread though. So there is some blow risk. So it, my here's my thing. If you think Washington keeps this game competitive and they play full four quarters, then I like the over here on Spencer Dinwiddie at 15 and a half points, right? Obviously he gets a massive usage bump without Brad Beal. Um, him and Kuzma are just gonna do everything for this team. So if you think that they keep this game competitive, I like the over on Spencer Dinwiddie at 15 and a half. And then for fancy points, I like the over on Kyle Kuzma at 36. Um, you know, he's been close to hitting this number 
Uh, at times, even with Brad Beal in, he's headed three the last five games. When, when Brad Beal's out, his usage goes way, way up. So I think the way that fails is a blowout, which is definitely possible. It's 11-point spread. But again, if you think the Wizards keep it competitive and they play full uh, four quarters, then I, again, I think Dinwiddie hits the over on the points. I think Kuzma hits the over on the faints points. The way they're going to fail is if the Bucs just blow them out in three quarters. Uh, but yeah, those are the plays I like for uh, today, guys. So uh, that is going to wrap it up for the video. Again, if you have been liking the prize picks content, make sure to leave a like button on the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Again, uh, if you're playing DFS, make sure to check out my NBA DFS video. Um, and also, if you're not signed up for prize picks, you can sign up and use my code DKDFS for a 100% match up to $100. Uh, but yeah, guys, that will do it for the video. So thanks again. Have a great one, and I will see you all in the next video.